Okay, today we're going to be removing the um, door card on a Mark 6 GTD. This is driver's front right. Um, I have had this door card off before because I wanted to get at the speaker because it's damaged and that's what I'm swapping. Um, so we'll go through it again today, swap a speaker and then put it back together. Right. Okay, so the first thing you need is get you uh, this trim set, really cheap off Amazon or eBay, um, and it helps you take everything apart. So the first thing we need to take off is this plastic part here and using these it doesn't damage the actual uh, plastic work and leave marks on it which are something metal would do so if you can get those in there and just eventually ply it and lever it off it will come off it just takes a little bit of persuasion like that and then pull across there we go and as you can see it's held in with these little metal clips which just clamp onto the tangs inside the door so just don't be too frightened to take it off um, the next thing they do is there's a few t30 torque screws one in there can you see that okay that's the first one so we'll get that undone And then there's one up here. If I can get it quite deep. Like I say, I've had this card off before, so I left the screws reasonably loose. Because I knew I'd be taking it back off. And that's that one. Loose. Good. And there is also another one here, which I removed and didn't put back in. So that's down there. And then there's one more actually under here. Can you see? Oh, sorry. Which is just a. It's, this one's a special one. It's got a little shoulder on it, so you don't, can't tighten it up too much. You can see that, Daisy. So just remember to put that one back in the bottom. Right. Okay. So the next bit looks and feels a bit weird because you have to really really yank on this to get it off and it's held on with some pop clips so if you stand up there daisy the first thing is to get something in behind the door and then literally just have to work along it and pop it off that's a couple of the clips gone Work away the front. There we go. Okay, and that should be it. And if you've got all your screws and everything undone, it should be nice and loose. And then what you do, get your knee underneath it. And just lift it up like that. And I don't drop it because it's connected by some wires. So Daisy, if you come in here. First one is the door opening mechanism can you see behind here daisy look it's difficult to see here where my fingers are so for this i think you just lift this lever up if i remember rightly was it that one I can't remember. oh there we go so you just push that lever across can you see daisy mm -hmm. lift that out and that's your door opening mechanism off and then you've got all your cables first one is this blue one which I think is for the unlock and lock just a bit awkward to get fingers in uh, then we've got the electric windows <laughs> and then we've got which one's this one this one's a door mirrors and then last but not least We've got the LED. You have to come around this side to see the LED indicator. Which is there. And as, as, as always, the last one is the hardest one to get out. 
Sorry, YouTube, if you can't see it. Come around this side of it. Actually, door card removed. Nice and easy. Okay, so I'll just set that there. Now, like I said before, I've had this off in the past because the speaker was damaged and the sound was really poor on it. So I took it off. Um, and what I had to do was drill out these holes. I'll put another video on in a minute and I'll show you how I did that. Now, in drilling them out, it spun these inserts out. You can see there and there. So what I've done, I've got myself a nice little pack here of captivated riv nuts. So I'm going to do, I've never used it before, we're going to try and put one of these in and see if we can re-establish these holes. So possibly the most complicated tool in the world, but after about two years, we managed to sort it out. So let's see if we can see if it works. I think that's worked. It's gone in there nice and tight. We just need to take it out. Perfect. Okay, what I'll do then, I'll do that for the other three that are damaged and then we'll put the speaker in. All right, so I didn't want to hack apart at the uh, OEM loom. So what I've done, using the old speaker, I've chopped out the connector plug here. So that originally, sorry, no, it, it, fit, it fit in just like that. Um, so what I've done is took that out with a pair of clippers and then we've soldered a wire to those and then we've used a jumper cable to the new speaker. And that way we just keep the integrity of the old uh, wiring link. Right, so let's go and put it in the car. Also, this plug here, um, this acts as like a jumper cable as well, and it powers up the little tweeter that's in the door pillar. So you need to have that uh, plug fitted. Uh, it's this one here uh, in order to power up the tweeter. So from there, we can plug that in and that gives us full functionality for the speaker. So let's get it fitted. So we'll leave that on the outside and then we'll tuck these wires nicely in there. I'm not gonna get in the way of the window regulator. There's wires on this so it's not too bad. And then pop that little bad boy. Okay, so I've decided um, I could only get M5 bolts to fit in the riv nuts that we fitted um, and I didn't have anything of positively locking them in there so what I'm going to do is just use the riv nut or something to purchase and use a, a rivet uh, to bolt it back in. That's the plan anyway. So I just need to go and get my riveter which I've just forgotten. No oh, excuse me. Hold it and do it at the same time isn't easy. Good. 
we go. Right. Have to chop that one afterwards. There we go. Right, I'll do all four and then we'll get back to you when we're done. Okay, so the speaker's installed, all the rivets are in, it's all nice and tight. We've tested it and it works fine um, and everything's good. So we'll put the door card back on. So it's just the reverse with the cables. Starting with the LED. Hopefully it's a bit quicker than when it came apart. For the top in first. Just gonna get sure it's home and down, and then we come to the side. If you're looking here, Daisy, you can tell if it's down enough because the pot rivets just inside there line up with the hole. Uh, it's just a case of giving it a smack. And oh, my is bent. Basically, it's just a case of making sure that it's yeah, in line. Yeah, making sure it's all lined up, and then push it in like that. That's them ones, and then it's the same in there. Just giving them a, a shove, and that's them back together. And uh, next, it's the three torque screws up the top. Okay, Daisy. <laughs> Choose that one, and that goes down here. Like that. Knocks them in. And then what you do is just line up these metal tangs with the res receivers. Like that. And then give it the old punch -a and that's it golf gtd door trim back on cheers